All right, I got the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic, or known as the SNES Classic. Uh, got very fortunate and bought this at GameStop. So, uh, and this is better pay better than paying it for online because it's. The cheapest I was gonna get it as was uh, 175, and uh, it didn't really feel it was worth that much. But uh, you know, hashtag uh, fuck scalpers. So uh, I'm gonna do an opening on this. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, you 90s people would uh, definitely would want to pick this up for nostalgia purposes. Uh, let's see if I can get this open. So yeah, it's uh, I I think it's a pretty good grab. So here, so we got uh, I guess this Nintendo pamphlet here, warnings and service information. Uh, let's see what else we got here. A uh, small cable or plug for it. Uh, two controllers, from what I see. Let's see. Put the box away for a moment. Got two controllers. I'll just open one just for the sake of this video. I think that it also feels as stiff as a, as the. SNES and uh, it has that you know that that port that the Wiimote has I don't know if you can see it yeah so I don't know if you can use this on the Wiimote that would be interesting so uh, yeah I'm, I'm only going to show you one because the controllers are pretty much the exact same you just get two of them Uh, we have the cable, the power cable, I'm guessing, and the HDMI, because, you know, TVs nowadays require it, and here's the, the best part, uh, this is pretty small compared to the original SNES, so, um, it is pretty small. Uh, no opening. Uh, the on and off is definitely here. Uh, these are the ports. The power, HDMI. Um, let's see. That's how you plug... Does this come off? Nope, it pulls off. That's where you put in your... Uh, controllers. I thought that's pretty innovative. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is a, pretty much a worth buy at original price. Definitely not scalper price. Uh, but if you're that desperate, go right ahead. And uh, yeah, I totally think that this is worth the, the money. I mean, that's just my personal opinion, of course. Um, there's an eject. No, eject doesn't do anything. Um, reset, yep, reset works. The power. And uh, let me see how the plug works. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this open. I don't know how they do it. Oh, it you do it from the bottom. You pretty much pull that out. Uh, use the controller from earlier. And then, like so. And then you play it. I'll take the wrapping off later. Uh, I might do some streams with this. Just because uh, I know the SNES is pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably show it on stream a couple times. And uh, pretty sure you can stream with it, so 
thought that's uh, pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, a lot of my favorite games are on here, actually. This is what the back of the box looks like. It shows all the games that are on there. Even the unreleased Star Fox 2. And it says here, Star Fox 2 can be unlocked can be unlocked by completing the first stage of Star Fox. So, uh, you gotta do some work to unlock that game. So yeah, uh, I'll read off the list over here of all the games it has, just in case you haven't looked it up. Uh, Contra 3 The Alien Wars, Alien Wars, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, pretty good, pretty good game. Uh, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby Superstar, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, which I think is getting a, a remake on the PlayStation. Uh, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls, or Ghouls and Ghost, Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. It's one of my favorite childhood games. Uh, Super Mario World, which is my number one favorite game. Uh, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, probably one of the hardest Zelda games for a kid, and uh, Yoshi's Island. So yeah. Uh, I wish this had a little more games, like all the Donkey Kong countries, and maybe, uh, what was that one? It was like an old, it had a collection of games, I think. <sighs> Forgot what it was called. It had Super Mario 3 on there at one point. Uh, it'll come to me. It'll probably be, wor it'll probably be a picture of it somewhere on the, in the video once I find out. But yeah, it had a collection of Mario games and I thought that would be on there because it was, it was on the, the SNES so who knows um, yeah I, I think this is a pretty well worth purchase uh, if you don't know anything or care about the SNES then don't buy it definitely not worth the hassle so yeah and uh, I'll be streaming on this you can probably find me on twitch.tv slash or slash uh, N0 underscore X because I changed it recently um, yeah so that is uh, that's it for this video uh, be sure to subscribe and um, comment like uh, yeah I'm gonna be doing more streams uh, twitch streams than YouTube stuff so yeah feel free to stop by say hello watch me fail the whole nine yards. So yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, have a good one.